Whether complimenting a meal, relaxing, or entertaining, cocktails and spirits can spark your dining and social experiences. Join celebrity tastemakers beyond the bar as we mix this week's liquid recipe for the sip. I'm Caitlin Monty, Beyond the Bar at Bathtub Gin in the heart of New York City with Shrew and Grant Rolfe, who's going to give us the 101 on scotch. What is the difference between a scotch and a whiskey? Obviously, you can tell from my accent and my very unusual name. I am, of course, from Staten Island. <laughs> no, I'm from a small country called Scotland. Um, Scotland is very famous in America for a few things. Sean Connery. We exported Ewan McGregor, yes. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Thanks for that one. Well, we try our best. But arguably our most famous export has been Scotch whiskey. All Scotch is whiskey, but not all whiskey is Scotch. To be described as a Scotch whiskey, you need to be wholly uh, produced and matured in the great country of Scotland for three years in oak barrels. Blended Scotches and the one that we're focusing on, which is single malt whiskies. It's a very particular appellation of whiskey coming purely from the country of Scotland. Can you talk us through the flavors and, and the nuances of a good scotch? Welcome to the Valley of the Deer, the Glen of the Fiddich. This is our signature expression. This is a 12-year-old single malt. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour you a dram. A dram in Scotland, just a measure of whiskey that is acceptable for both the pourer and the drinker. So that's a little view into Scottish hospitality. When we approach a whiskey for the first time, we want to engage all our senses. The first of the senses is going to be the eyes. Have a good look at the whiskey. Beautiful, nice, rich golden color on the Glenfiddich. We get a lot of this color from our oak casks and from our maturation processes. So we're like light golden color, looks beautiful in the glass. After the eyes, the nose is going to give you so much information. All the olfactory receptors, less in your mouth, more in your nose. The first thing your nose might pick up is gonna be that inherent strength. You can smell the oak, almost a peachy scent to it. Beautiful. It's sweet, it's not as harsh as I might think of a whiskey being. This is a little sweeter. My recommendation normally for whiskey, straight as you like. If you do add water, you're gonna release some of the sweeter flavors and lighter flavors. The worst thing I can hear when I'm ordering my favorite single malt is the bartender reaching for those big cubes of ice. As soon as you put that ice in there, the volatility has gone down and those aromatics that you want have disappeared. It's smooth and almost a bit of vanilla in there. Yeah, classic Glenfiddich. Boom, flavor explosion, green apples, a little bit of pear, nice long finish, classic Speyside style. You can't go wrong. Thanks for all the knowledge, Struan. For those of you who want more on the Glenfiddich, plus events, updates, and giveaways that take you beyond the bar, visit CelebrityTasteMakers.com. Until next time, I'm Caitlin Monty. Here's to you from The Sip.